Hey guys, just want to take a quick video and show you um, the uh, wheelie bin flow through um, if anyone's intent on making one. Um, what what um, you got to watch for is where the pipe is on the edge here. I'm told that material can sheet down that edge. Um, what I've done actually inside of mine, which I wouldn't do again, is I've put some mesh between here where you can see these screws and wrapped it around that first pipe so that there's a bit of mesh inside mine on the edges like that. Um, these pipes here on the edge need to be as close to the edge as you can get them. I could have got them closer if I'd have sort of worked it out a bit better. Or if you can't get them um, that much closer, um, you could screw a piece of wood inside the worm farm on the edge to help close down that initial gap. And then my opinion would be this first pipe should be at a one and a half inch center. I've used three inch centers for the whole thing. Um, again, just to close down this edge of it a little bit. Um, and then the balance of the pipes should be at three inch centers or less if you need to uh, wangle the measurements around a little bit so that um, you can um, uh, get them to all fit in properly. Um, you could make the, the first one the second one, sorry, that's at one and a half inches, you could make it a bit less or a bit more sort of thing, or you could make the, the rest of the pipes at two and a half inches or two and three quarter inch centers or something like that. Um, I just wouldn't make them any bigger than three inch. Um, you can see the this bin's been sitting here for about uh, five months since we moved. I haven't fed it a lot, um, but pretty much that's all that's in it that's self-harvested. Um, is that little tray full and I don't know if you'll be able to see up in there but it's only a few more handfuls of stuff there it's pretty dry in the bottom um, and again just to harvest you can just use your fingers or I've got one of those little rakes like that and you can just harvest a bit out like that so you don't need pipes that rotate around with screws in them or anything like that in my opinion that's just a, a sort of a something that sounds good in but in practice it's not really practical and it's not really useful and um, it's just a really a, a waste of your time um, to do that um, some people put uh, in in weaker wheelie bins these are in in australia bins these ones seem pretty strong i've heard of people that haven't put a brace um, through here and down here um, actually having the bin collapse um, on them fold in half or or just tilt over and then the whole thing falls over and spills the worms out everywhere so if you're in doubt um, I, I'd just put a brace um, in there where I've, where I've indicated from the floor up the sides supporting another piece just wood would be fine or aluminium strip aluminum I think you guys say rather than aluminium um, and the other thing um, to look at is air holes. A lot of people drill air holes in, in their worm farms. And if you work out in one four by six inch hole here, how many um, half inch holes you'd need to actually replicate that. Um, and, and in our summer when it gets quite hot, um, uh, my opinion is these air holes are just enough. So I've got, they're approximately four inch by six inches and I've got two at the front and one on each side. Um, no, uh, air holes or anything in the lid so because this one lives outside so it's completely waterproof um, you can see the, the level there again I haven't been looking after this bin um, since we moved I've had so much to do and keep looking after the beasts more than anything else um, but I have been feeding this lately and you'll see there's there's quite a lot of worms through the through the food um, So there is there is still a lot of worms active in here um, and you can see the consistency of the oh there's some more I dropped a half a pumpkin in there in one go so they're all clustered around where the pumpkin was rather than being where I want to find them but you can see the the consistency of the castings it's lovely and crumbly um, it's um, in my opinion this is one of the best um, uh, homemade type bins that's quite easy to for people to make because basically you just have to cut the hole out of the bottom, bore you know half a dozen three quarter inch holes in there, whack that pipe through. I've just used plastic electrical conduit. Um, I haven't used anything really fancy. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, there's nothing else to tell you. Thanks very much for watching the video.